Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radku Tarot. Uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Gemini Sun, Moon, Iron as well, Gemini Rising. Uh, with the general tarot reading February 15th up until February uh, 21st, 2021. And uh, should you be interested in a personal reading with me or uh, taking my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to see a link to my website where you can uh, view and purchase either or both of these services. So with that being set aside, moving to the Gemini weekly reading straight away. And the first card we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Two of uh, Swords, followed by uh, the Seven of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have that is to be the Queen of uh, the Queen of Cups is that, isn't it? No, that is the Empress. So after that, we do have the Empress, and the last one that is to be Temperance. Who? Oh. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. So Gemini, man. I mean, that that is gonna be a great week for you guys. I want to be a Gemini, <laughs> truly, I want to be a Gemini for, the, for this week. Uh, the sad thing is, is that I don't have anything into Gemini for what I know, into my uh, into my chart, so lucky you, I could say. Any In any case, uh, the first card here for you, Gemini, which is the four of a pentacles, it does point that right off the back, the week starts in a phenomenal fashion for you. It seems that all that you are toiling over and all that you are kind of like trying to stabilize and, you know, trying to set in order, if I may say it that way, uh, you will be able to put it in a place in a such a fashion or in a such an order, if you will, that will be pretty much a piece of cake for you to develop moving forward. Four of Pentacles, it is when you do build up your domain career-wise or relationship-wise, if you will, as well, and you do ensure it's, uh, how can I say, you do ensure it's survival, you do ensure it's, it's um, positive progression, if I may place it that way. And not just only that, but as well, you are kind of like doing everything you need to do uh, in order to defend it moving forward in order to how can i say to 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 fortify it if if uh, if i can explain myself that way so you can expect at the start of the week your career to be sound and safe your relationship life to be sound and safe as well your friendships to be sound and sound and safe uh four of pentacles it is where you do sit on a within your comfort zone you have developed everything to be in a, such a fashion that completely correlates with uh, correlates with your comfort zone and it is there to stay and because you are to do all that right at the start of the week which again it could be you are have secured your business project you have secured the client you have secured secured your relationship it's just you know you are to secure your, your life at the start of the week right after that we do have peace two of swords it is where everything lingers on an equilibrium you know and one thing is not important than the other and vice versa and at that stage with the two of swords you're not going to feel like you are rushed to do anything you are you are not facing any crisis you're not facing any how can i say um <clears throat> any sense of emergency as well you are not facing any uh, any situations that are too pokey put oh, pok to put your back against the wall where you have to work uh, from a back foot, if I can say it that way. So uh, at that stage, you are going to fully relax for what it seems. And as well, you're going to start contemplating what to do, uh, of course, a further in a sense of, you know, how to expand even further on your comfort zone, career wise or relationship wise. But there will be something different here, guys. Uh, here, as you do not face any emergency, as you do not face any, how can I say, any crisis, you will have the luxury this time around to wait until you render your final verdict in a sense of how you are to proceed with your relationship or with your career or whatever. And as you do have that luxury to wait, 
uh, you will start considering different points of view, more pragmatic, more um, more efficient as well, and in, and in in all cases you will have a time to research the situation to its full extent. So you don't find yourself at the end being beguiled into do something that does not correlate with you or does not provide you to a full extent. And right after that, we do have the seven of wands. And unfortunately, good thing doesn't good things. I'm sorry, doesn't last for long. And that is when um, you have been bestowed an eye upon you in a sense of uh, there are those that kind of like envy you for the good stage you are in for the good place you are in you have secured your um your place a job co-worker it's it's envious at you and they want your place or they doesn't want to see you there you have secured your relationship you have fixed your marriage etc and somebody into your social circle is not happy of it at all and they want to ruin the things for you seven of wands in this follow-up here it is where you do face exterior influences, okay? Gossips, rumors, uh, kind of like shenanigans also that have been addressed to you. Uh, it is where, like I said, that you are to stabilize and secure your comfort zone. This card here points that there will be those that will want to infiltrate and ruin that comfort zone for you. So what is that you got to do when we do have the Seven of Wands? Well, Seven of Wands, uh, especially into this, nar into this narrative or into this follow-up, shows that these people that want to ruin things for you or they happen to be an opposition, they happen to be a rival or an uh, antagonist in your story, they don't have much to work with. They don't have many tools, okay? They cannot get into you straight away. So what they are going to try to do is to spread rumors and gossips. And that is exactly what you have to be, uh, how can I say, vigilant about. Rumors and gossips about you, about your relationship, about your business and about your performance first and foremost. And as soon as you do hear something about you that it isn't true or remotely true, you have to challenge it straight away. Otherwise, with the Seven of Wands, things escalate quite quickly. And what I like to say about this card is that one, one lie said a thousand times, it becomes truth, if not challenged uh, in its uh, in its in its feed stage or in its initial stage, so you have to be ready to jump into action, and you have to be ready, like I said, to challenge the fallacies that are going to address your relationship or your business. Just to give you an example of a fallacy, um, somebody tells to your boyfriend that they saw you um, kissing somebody. That is completely untrue, but you don't challenge this, okay? You wave your hand over it, knowing that that's untrue and is going to uh, plummet into the void where it belongs, but it doesn't happen like that. You know, your boyfriend becomes more and more suspicious and they start looking or imagining details about you that aren't true as well. And it just brings the whole relationship you have into ruin. So challenge everything that is not um, true about you and about your performance as well, regardless how small it seems and how preposterous it seems at the start. And as well, the Seven of Wands, it is a card showing that outside, you know, of these uh, exterior influences here, um, Gemini, uh, you will know what to do and, in, and when to do it. So you will have that very sharp sense what kind of uh, what kind of performance and what kind of a uh, efforts to incorporate into your deeds in order for them to be a um, a rock solid or in order for them to be rather a successful and right after this influence we do have the empress and that is uh, the recuperation period after you have challenged you know the exterior um, what is the opposite of the benign negative I will use that negative influence and here you will feel the necessity to withdraw from all that you know to withdraw from the bs that you will have to deal with beforehand and uh, through the withdrawal from this midst of activities you are to address you know these 
cracks that happened from this influence over your um, comfort zone, these cracks that happened into your relationship or into your business with a huge portion of maturity in the sense of that you are going to address them in a mature fashion. And without rushing it through, you will be able to take a very well-found and balanced decisions how to um, fill up those gaps or these cracks, how to repair those cracks career-wise or relationship-wise, and how to proceed forward this time around having a very structured plan. So uh, at that stage, you can expect that your security will become even, it will escalate even further. And you can expect that you will have your, uh, your client, you will have your relationship, you will have your career by their neck. That is an expression in our country where, you know, you have the, uh, pretty much the leash of your steeds and you, uh, you direct them wherever you want them to go. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I want to, um, not remind you, but kind of like, uh, what, what was the word? Oh my God, it just jumped out of my, warn you, all right? So one thing that I wanna warn you about the Empress, it is that with this, uh, with this, within this stage, while it is a, a very good thing that you will get the power, if I can say it that way, to decide what you are to do with your career and with your relationship as well, and uh, structure them in a way that it will feel comfortable to you. Also, that is the card where whatever you sow, you are to reap. After that, when, whether it is bitter or sweet. And that's why you will have to approach the matter with a huge portion of maturity rather than to approach it emotionally. Empress, it isn't about emotions. It is all about seeing what works for everybody that it is uh, involved with you. And that is how you have to structure your plan moving forward. But if I have to bring it down into career and relationship, you can expect a, a long-term development or the plan for a long-term development that is to be simultaneously creative, very warm, and very comfortable. And you are finishing here the week with the temperance and uh, here, as I said, you are to come up with a plan, but coming up with a plan is not enough to get you there. And temperance, it is the card showing that you are going to make the very first step initiating this plan. For the temperance speaks that at the end of the week, this plan that you are going to come up with, how to sustain, all right, how to sustain your relationship, how to sustain your career as well, it will be a very balanced plan in the sense of that it's not going to go in either of the extreme. You are not either going to overperform or be completely indifferent about what is going on into your career or what is going on into your relationship. But but instead is going to be somewhere in the middle and that will be your strength moving forward. Also with the temperance, you can expect that whatever it is within your comfort zone career-wise or relationship-wise is going to address you with a, a huge portion of a, uh, how can I say it, solidarity and compassion. People may not be agreeing with you and your vision and your opinion, but they will respect it, which is uh, true for you also. For at that stage, at the end of the week, you are to see that, how can I say, um, the right approach towards certain situations, it's very personal. And just because something works for you, it doesn't mean that it's going to work for anybody else and vice versa as well. And here, while there may not be an ultimate understanding in between you and your uh, beloved one, in between you and your boss, you know, in between you and your friend, there will be a, a, a respect and there will be an acceptance. So you may not be agreed with one another, but you are going to accept one another and will try to find that middle path that I talked about that goes into neither of the extreme. It takes the everything positive from your opinion and your point of view. It takes everything positive from their opinion and their point of view and structures one cumulative point of view that it is exactly this middle path that I talked about. Is that a compromise? Yeah, it is, but it is a willing compromise. It's not like you have to push and force yourself in order to do it, but it will feel like the most sen sensational and the most, um, how can I say, sensical, if that's a word, it will feel like this is the only thing that makes sense. 
So with that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly general tower reading, guys. It does look like that you are on the right track here. It does look like that you will, um, how can I say, uh, consolidate over what you are working up until this point into the week. And uh, all, that's, um, all that remains, it is to guard it. All right, it is to defend it and uh, figure out how you are to develop it even further. For you have reached a checkpoint and the only way you screw the things around, it is when you do go in either of the extreme, you become either extremely um, aggressive about it or extremely indifferent about it. So yeah, that being said, that was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.